Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm kind of showing you what I keep in my nappy bag for our son who is one year old. Um, so I thought I'd show you everything I keep in there, what my nappy bag is like. Um, hopefully you can get some ideas of what you need to store in yours. I don't know. Either way, if you just like being nosy then here it is. So, First off we started in terms of nappy bags, we used to have the baby mail one. Um, when we were looking for like a nappy bag, um, we really struggled to find like one that I really liked. I fell in love with this one because I love stripes, as you can see. Um, so I fell in love with this one, it was probably one of them, I wanted something quite big because I still wanted to be able to carry things that I want to put in the bag but not have two bags. So I wanted something quite large still, um, and then this was the best one I could find. Um, my sister bought me this as a baby shower gift, so this was, you know, and it converted to over the shoulder, backpack, everything like that. So it was very versatile in what I could use it for. Um, but after using it on so many occasions and like every day, and we even used it when we went abroad, um, we found that when we needed so much in there, it was hard to get to stuff. So we ended up changing to a different one, which is what Cora found, um, and I'll show you that one just in a second. But with a little bit of background, our son had severe reflux um, from pretty much the day he was born. So we ended up having to take out multiple changes of clothes for him constantly. So wherever we went, we needed spare clothes. Um, this wasn't just one set of clothes. I mean, like we used to pack 10 different sets of clothing because he would be sick on them. He'd be, um, and it would just, it, he'd be coated in his own um, milk sick. So he would go through a lot of changes of clothes. And so we needed a lot. Um, so we ended up packing that bag so tight with stuff because we needed to be a bit of sort of nappy bags, nappies, wipes, changes of clothes. We needed muslins to map, mop him up with. We needed everything we could think of. Um, so then if something happened while we were out, we had some spare clothes, we had something to change him into and so forth. So we kind of overused the nappy bag we didn't just use it because we needed to keep nappies and wipes in there we needed to keep everything in there from milk to um spare clothes everything everything you can think of plus more we needed to keep in our nappy bag so we kind of over excelled in the sense of we needed extra from a nappy bag other than just keeping the essentials in there so that's how this one got kind of overused, overrun and kind of like we got kind of fed up digging straight to the bottom of it because it was you were constantly like this like trying to get to the bottom, trying to find what you needed, you had to take things out and it just wasn't convenient, just wasn't easy and it was really hard work when we were out so thought, fortunately, fortunately, Cora found um, this nappy bag that we use now she found this um, months ago, I think maybe um, maybe around July time, June, July time maybe. Mm. I'll, it's not really important but either way, we've had it a long time now. And she found it in a baby, specialised baby charity shop that's here in Wakefield. So I'll leave a link to that shop because we love it. It's called Eco Baby. Um, and yeah it's fantastic so I'll leave a link to that in the description but so she found that in the charity shop and it's a pack a pod pack a pod I think that's correct either way this is it it's triangle like a bit of a funny shape it's not a, but it works really really well surprising how well but it works, works really well so there's two major big compartments of this one at this side and then there's one at the back here. The one at the back <laughs> opens up and inside you've got two other compartments. One is for nappies, 
so it's got like a it's got a little toggle on it and it says changing bag i'll show you up close but it's got a toggle there saying changing bag and then another one the black one says feeding bag for us we don't use a black for feeding we use a black for spare clothes because oliver still he's drooling now so the sickness has stopped but he does drool and he gets messy when he eats so we still keep changing the clothes just in case in that bag um, and obviously I don't need to keep bottles warm anymore because he's on solid food so we keep that for changes of clothes we still use a changing bag for changing obviously and then he's got another compartment there which is just like a slip compartment which you might put like little bits of small things in um, it's almost like a laptop sleeve but it's not it might be you could use it as one so that's that side and then this side excuse me this side you've got a normal bag so it's got like three um elasticated little pouches where you can store things like um spoons and forks you can store cowpole which i keep in there um and like small thin things like that that you kind of need to slot in there's another one that's a zip pouch but i keep things like um um, my because it zips up and Oliver can't get into it I keep paracetamol and ibuprofen in there and um, hand sanitizer and the first aid kit they say in there because I know he can't get into that bit yet once he gets a bit older I'm gonna have to be a bit more wary I understand but for now he can't get in there so that's my like section of the bag and then it's got some space where we usually keep like food and toys and maybe like an odd hat so that's the lowdown of the bag now i'll show you so yeah i'll leave a link to the bags both of them in the description they're both wonderful bags but for me this one excelled because we needed it to kind of do a lot more than what we were asking of an average nappy bag this one again does convert so it's a backpack it's a over the shoulder and um handbag you can carry it kind of thing so it's very diverse again and um, it's wipeable wipe clean like oh and there's a compartment at the front to look we've got <laughs> there's this like a little pat a compartment there which is where i usually saw things like socks or um sun cream um so yeah it's only slim so it's only meant for like quick things to slip in there but otherwise perfect for those kind of quick things that you need so i will show you now what i saw in my nappy bag basically nappies <laughs> nappies and clothes so going into the back these pods also clip out so you can take them fully out of your bag like this which is really handy because if you just oh a pound that's what I store in my nappy bag, a random pound coin. There you go. So these pods come out and they're fully open. Um, and then you can kind of like really open it up. It does zip down some more, but yeah, it opens up. And in there, there's a little pouch here where you can keep wipes. There's also little pouches either side i think you'll be I'll, I'll be able to show you but um so there's a pouch that side a pouch that side and then these are elasticated to help keep your nappies stood up i never use them don't ask me to be on the ball with these things but yeah so i'll show you an example and i think it helps like so that not everything falls out of the bag at you when you open it like that There's clearly so many more skilled mothers out there than me. If you're one of those, well done to you. <sighs> I wish I could be that way. So yes, that's how it's meant to be used. So then if somebody does grab your bag out, the nappies are not everywhere. It's also got a little compartment on this side to hold the um, mat. So it does come with a mat and I just slip that in that back pocket because then if I need to go and change Oliver, I can just take that one bag out if I really want. 
I usually have the bag on, so I just take the full thing. But if I'm at a restaurant somewhere and I don't need to take the full thing, I can just take this. So then in this little compartment here, I keep nappy creams. So I use Materium the most. This was advised to use from our midwife when she came to see Oliver when he was first born. And she said it was the best one and she was right. I will never go to another one. I do keep Bepanthum on hand just in case. Um, Bepanthum is a good one. I've been using it strangely under his nose while he's got a cold um, because it creates a barrier. Um, so it helps the skin repair while creating like a liquid barrier over it. Um, so yeah, I keep those on hand in there. I do keep a thermometer with me at all times. I'm not sure if that's just panic mum or um, all mums or parents in general. But yes, we keep a thermometer. And I keep that in the nappy bag just because I kind of keep nappies and medical stuff in one compartment because then at least I know where to go. Um, as a new time mum, I kept a couple of sanitary products in the nappy bag for myself for emergencies. Um, I actually do use a cup, a menstrual cup, but I do keep some on hand just in case. Yeah, because you never know. You, you can never just trust one source, unfortunately. Um, another thing I keep in is the Ashton and Parsons Teething Gel. Um, this is something that stays in the nappy bag. I think if it's not always for me, then I always think it's for somebody else that's going to need this as well. You never know. The nappy bag came with a little wet bag, so I keep that in there. Don't use it because I end up just getting rid of the nappies, obviously, as soon as they've been used. Unless I'm using a uh, reusable, but we've got a different bag for that. I keep Calpol. Calpol is essential in a nappy bag. I think because we often go out and we can be out for quite a number of hours, maybe sometimes for a full day. We also use this for traveling. So when we go abroad um, and we go somewhere, I like to be able to have this fully packed with everything we need. Um, so things like Calpol and the creams are essential because then it saves us having to try and find them and buy them. If I know that I've already got hold of them in an emergency situation, I've got them. So yes, Calpol and a clean dispenser. I've not got the clean dispenser right on me because I've just taken it out to clean. But yes, Calpol and a clean dispenser lives in the nappy bag. I thought I had one more thing in this pocket, but... Um, oh, and wipes. We've just run out, so I just need to restock. That's why... I thought I'd do this video while I'm restocking. So yeah, um, that is the nappy compartment of the backpack. So I'll put that away in there. I really like this nappy bag, mainly because I like the compartments of it. It really helps me uh, be able to just get to what I need straight away. If, like I know that all the nappies and the wipes are in there. I know that the clothes are in the other one. So I appreciate that from that kind of style of bag. Um, I don't like having to dig and stress that I can't get to what I want to get to. So the next thing in my nappy bag is the black container, which is for feeding, but we use it for clothes. So it opens up the same and it's, um, lined so it's meant to obviously keep your bottles warm um it's instead of using an actual bottle warmer thing that you can buy this does it for you um and in here we've just got some spare clothes we've got a t-shirt a jumper a spare vest spare jeans another spare vest and another spare t-shirt i think we do have a bit too much in there but still um, so yeah, you can see it's got a little thermometer type bit there. I don't know if it's going to show you or not. But I'll try and get some um, other footage and images to show you. So yeah, this it is a Packapod. Packapod, yeah. So it says it in there. So this has got no other sleeves or anything to it. It's just empty. But this is perfect for keeping your bottles warm. Um, obviously we use it for clothing. But you can use it for bottles like it's intended. Just pack that back away I'll keep the jumper out I don't need it 
Um, another thing right now, because it's winter mittens, they can stay in the little pod. Um, and I do often keep spare socks in there while now we are walking. So that's that side. In the little, this sleeve a bit, I do keep some things. So I currently have a resealable sandwich bag. Um, don't ask me why. I think I just always think, oh, if something spills or uh, we've got something wet or we need to save some food, I keep it in there. And um, we got these in America called pacifier wipes. Um, but we can't find them here in the UK. They buy Munchkin, the Munchkin brand. If I find them, I'll leave a link to this in the description because we found these really handy when we were travelling. Um, we picked them up when we were in Orlando um, and they were really good for when he dropped his dummy on the floor. Uh, it was just, it needed a quick clean, not a full-on sterilised clean. Um, especially now it's bigger, we don't use it as often. Uh, these are still really handy in case the, it goes on the floor and you just want to wrap it up or save it or clean it whatever um, that is a good good source of being able to clean because we used to have one of the on the go sterilizers for dummies they just kept breaking or uh, one of them went moldy with a dummy in and it was just a bit like it got a bit too much um, and it was another thing for us to carry around in the bag so yeah those were fantastic we love those and that's what stays in there I'm moving on to the other side. We have, so apart from my, so this is my first aid kit, Ooh, my mini first aid kit. So it's just got like plasters, some tape, um, you know, cleaning wipe things and stuff like that. So it's just literally like in case we have a fall and a scrape and we've got something. Um, a uh, little hand gel again I said because me and Cora travel and we use this bag a lot for when we go away with Oliver it's his everyday bag and his holiday bag um, I like to keep spare um, paracetamol and ibuprofen on hand and that's in the zip compartment obviously it's winter so we need a hat doesn't fit in the other bit but because he's usually wearing it when we go out so um dummy bag this came with the bag and it does clip on um but currently we're not really using it so it's something that i've wanted to take out and store um uh, for a later date we don't need it i always keep a spoon <laughs> Because you don't know that everywhere you go is going to have utensils for children. Um, obviously, the, if you go into a restaurant, they're generally going to have them because you're eating anyway. But if you are using, if you want to feed a younger baby, obviously, um, a spoon is good. I've just always kept one in my bag, just in case. Um, so I keep that in those little like elasticated pockets. I also keep a bib. Oh, I did have a clean um, Calpol dispenser. Um, and I keep a bib in the bag. That's currently out for washing. I keep a bib in the bag and I keep <coughs> and I keep um, a number of different like toys for Oliver, especially if we're going out, I like to keep things on hand. It might be something like his um, watch or his remote, um, you know, whatever he's like really into at the minute, that's what I'll kind of keep in the bag. And I think that's everything. So, oh, snacks. I often keep snacks in the bag. So, um, little like oat bars, um, sometimes like little crisp type of snacks, through special bananas, fluffs bananas. Um, these are things that I keep in his bag. And I think that's it. I think that's everything. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everything. Sun cream. I already showed you that. Sun cream and spare socks. That's another thing I keep in the bag. Um, mm, yeah, pretty sure that's everything. Ooh, water. He does have a water bottle. That is also out for cleaning. But I keep a water bottle, um, like a little drink thing for him in his bag because then at least he's always got water. Obviously we can just fill it up somewhere at a restaurant, cafe, whatever, or we can buy him a bottle of water and just put it into his cup. So he's got, always got that as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been interesting to you. Let me know in the comments what baby bag you use, if you've changed, if you've had to adapt, or if you just use a normal bag um and use packing cubes or anything like that with it let me know in the comments i'd love to know how you you know kind of do things your way uh, if you've enjoyed this video make sure you like it subscribe to the channel and i'll see you again real soon bye